Okay, so this video is going to be showing you guys how to upgrade versions. Um, I was on 8.1.23 and I wanted to go to the most recent stable version which is 8.1.32. Um, so basically the process of this is first you're going to turn off all of your virus protection, turn that all off. Um, in this case I think this is still on so just turn it off on your end. I'm just going to walk you through it. And then go to your firewall and also turn that off. Um, just search for your firewall, turn that off inside here. So as you can see, they should all be off. And then after that, go ahead and download this. So for your machine, in this case, mine's Windows. So go ahead and install it. Um, I did the installer. I did not do the zip, so go ahead and do that. After you do that, you will go to your downloads, um, run the exe file, as you can see here. Go ahead and run it, and what you'll come up with is you'll this window will appear. So you'll click next on that, and in this case, um, in my instance, I was not able to find the gateway service name. So I'm going to show you how to find the gateway service name. If it, if it already appears and it shows a check mark, that means that it has automatically identified it and you don't need to worry about it. So let's just say you don't know your gateway service name, then what you can do is you're going to open up your um, command prompt and uh, I will open it up as administrator. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to target the directory um, where Ignition is installed at. So it's going to be local disk program files, inductive automation, ignition. So I'm going to go up here and copy this, type CD, and then paste it. So now we're targeting that particular folder. And then from here, you'll do start ignition.bat. And then it will tell you if, the, if ignition is running, if the service is running or not. But most importantly, it will tell you the service name, which is TAC Ohio Ignition. And as you can see here, it already collected it automatically. So um, after that, you'll just run through next and go all the way through that. It'll end up creating a backup first before it upgrades to the version, the target version that you set. But 